Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we are going to discuss open knowledge maps. Open knowledge maps are used for advanced literature search. Open knowledge map gathers information from various sources such as research articles, conference papers and other scholarly publications primarily from open access repositories and databases. Instead of presenting the information in the traditional linear format of text-based articles, Open Knowledge Map transforms the data into visual representations. These visualizations are like, are like interactive mind maps or concept maps that, that help users quickly grasp the key concepts, relationships and trends within a specific field of research. The primary goal of Open Knowledge Maps is to improve accessibility to scholarly information. Visualizations make it easier for both researchers and non-experts to get an overview of a particular research area without delving into lengthy articles. Users can search for a specific topic, author or keyword on the Open Knowledge Maps website. The platform then generates a visual map that highlights the main subtopics and connections within the field of interest. Each node or element in the knowledge map represents a piece of research or a concept. Users can click on these nodes to access the actual articles or papers associated with them. With them. This allows users to explore further and access the underlying research. Open Knowledge Map encourages community participations. Researchers, educator, educators and enthusiasts can contribute to the platform by adding links to the relevant research articles or suggesting in improvements to existing maps. This collab collaborative approach helps keep the knowledge maps up to date and accurate. The information gathered in our open knowledge maps is clustered using some algorithm. So using algorithms and LL LLP techniques, the system identifies patterns, common themes and relationship among the documents. Similar documents are grouped together based on said keywords, concepts and topics. This automated clustering process helps organize the vast amount of information into the meaningful groups. Now let's see how we can use the open knowledge maps. So for this, we'll go in Google and we'll write down open knowledge maps. I'll click on the first link. So if you are from life sciences, activate the first one, PubMed, and all other disciplines, we will have to activate the base. You can also uh, use the logical operators like N, N, or for refining the search, you can just click here, which type of, uh, uh, which type of query you want to generate. At present, we will keep the query simple, customer relationship management. Go. You can see the clusters have been formed based on the similarity of keywords. You can click on any cluster. So let's see, I will click on this cluster and it will give me all the relevant articles which are that which are present in this cluster. On your right hand side, you will be able to download the article if it is an open access. You can also the filter the data. Let's say I only want uh, the result to be generated for open access. It means the articles which are available in open access. You can do the sorting by title, authors and year. Now let's talk about the first article, a comparative study of social customer relationship and mobile based customer relationship management. If I press on export, I can export the citation from here. You can see this citation, I can export it. Moreover, the DOI is also available. When I click on DOI, it will directly take me to that article. So it will make, take me to the website where this article is present. You can see it. Moreover, you can also download this article by clicking on open the PDF. 
and if it is open access you will be able to download the article as well as take the print so open knowledge map is a quite useful website for the advanced literature search for more more such ai tools kindly subscribe to my channel you can follow me on linkedin and twitter please refer my playlist in which i have uploaded many artificial intelligence tools which can be used for literature review